Unit 9. What's your opinion? Activity 1. Look at the text and answer the questions. Where can you find this kind of text? On the internet. What type of text is it? It's a discussion forum. How do you know? There are lots of different posts. There are dates and comments, photos and emojis. Would you like to take part in a discussion forum? What would you talk about? About animals in the zoo. I don't think animals should be kept in the zoo. How many people give their opinion? Five. Track 2.13. Unit 9. Lesson 1. Activity 2. Sugar, sugar. Did you see that documentary about healthy eating last night? It was about how much sugar we eat without knowing. Did you know that there's sugar in bread and soup? Even healthy snacks have much more sugar than we think. I saw it too. I think the problem is that food producers add sugar to products because we like things that taste sweet. They also add sugar so that food can stay on the supermarket shelves longer without going bad. It's terrible. I agree. This means we eat much more sugar than we should. You shouldn't have more than six teaspoons of sugar a day. But there are seven teaspoons in just one fizzy drink. And I drink a can of cola every day. I disagree. The media always try to scare us about food. It's always in the news. First they told us we were eating too much salt. Then it was too much red meat. This week it's sugar. Next week it'll be milk products. Is everything bad for our health? I think people are clever enough to make their own food choices. I'm sorry, but I don't agree. I don't think everyone can make the right choices. I blame the advertisers. We see so many pictures of delicious-looking food everywhere, which makes us want to eat more. But a lot of that food is unhealthy. Sugar is really bad for your teeth and for your health. Hi. Can I just say that there's more to a healthy diet than eating less sugar? It isn't just sugar we need to worry about. A diet of burgers and chips isn't good for us either. That's true, but that isn't what we're talking about. The point is that we're eating extra sugar because it's difficult to know how much sugar is added to food. There's so much information on every product that it's very hard to understand. You're so right. A friend told me yesterday that she had an app called Sugar Smart. You use your phone on the barcode of food and drinks and the app shows you how much sugar is in the product. It's really easy to use. What a good idea. I'm going to download it right now. I'm going to tell my mum about it too. Yesterday, she said that we were eating too much sugar. She's really worried about it. Yeah, this app sounds great. It can help us make the right choices. We can decide not to buy products that have too much sugar. Maybe then the producers will make food healthier.
What are they discussing? Tick two correct answers. Healthy eating. How much sugar is in the food? What is the app that mentioned in the post? The app is Sugar Smart. What is it for? We use our phone on the barcode of foods and drinks. The app then shows us how much sugar is in the product. Activity 3 Vocabulary Product Something that is made and then sold. I don't buy products with a lot of added sugar in them. Diet. The food you eat every day. A healthy diet will help you learn better. App. A computer program that you download to a smartphone. I've got an app on my phone that helps me make video. Teaspoon. A small spoon that is used for eating or for adding sugar to tea or coffee. I ate my yogurt with a teaspoon. Sweet. Tasting like sugar. Fizzy drinks are very sweet because they've got a lot of sugar in them. Blame. To say or think that someone is responsible for a problem or bad situation. She blames me for the problems she has at school. Media. Ways of communicating to a large number of people, such as TV, radio, newspaper and the internet. There's a report in the media about the amount of salt in food. Snack. A small amount of food that you eat between meals. A healthy snack between meals gives you energy. Choice. The opportunity to choose between different things, a decision. We have a choice between pizza or pasta today. Barcode. A label with lots of lines that gives a computer information about a product. There wasn't a barcode on the box so they couldn't tell us the price.